Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to The Long Dark and Chapter 3, Crossroads Elegy. Using the tinder plug and the stick. Is it going to actually work? Uh, we've got 31 chances of being able to do it, plus we've also, well, we've, we've only got three tinder plugs, but um, getting more of those is, is actually relatively simple. Right, there Perfect. we go. So we've got that. I will add... Enough just to... I'm, I'm going to keep the fire going now. Add that in as well. I'm going to hold on to two bits of coal just for a minute. Dump that in. And a load of these sticks as well. Right. There's 12... The, yeah, that, that's as much as we can do. We can put 12 hours worth into the stove in there. I've got a number of cooking slots up here. So I'm going to take one lot of bare quarter right there. Harvest that one. And... 4.8 takes 38 minutes to harvest this. Right there. So I'm quite tired. We've got to keep that in mind as well. So I can go back now. I've got all of these cooking slots. So I will cook this on here. Is getting kind of heavy. Moldy bear meat at 56%. That's not very good. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna keep adding these on. I can hear the storm building up outside. And I go to you. I can add that one, and then on this one, i got another one I can add, and on this one, I've got another one I can add. So these are 58 minutes until ready. I've got some on me, but uh, what I can also do is I can go over here to this one, cooking pot over here. I've got another eight in here, moldy bear meat, cook, cooking slot right there, cook, moldy bear meat cook. So I've got a boatload of these already in, like, I've got eight of those. We've got eight different items cooking right here. Uh, that one there is 52 minutes until ready. 50 minutes until ready. We're doing alright with that, I think. I think this, I think this is going to be alright. I'm going to have to wait for an hour before that's ready. I mean, I could just sit there and, and wait. Um... I sort of want to have a look around and see if there's any other bits, any anything in here that we may have missed. We already explored this one. That's empty, empty. And everything is in here. I've already got everything in here. Um, so yeah, it, it like we, we have just about come to the end of it. Aftermath over there. I've, got, I've still got the tall tales bit. We've done the magical pond, the ghostly stag, the hidden glowing cave found all of those and also if I look in here under there deerskin boots and deerskin pants we actually learned how to make those which I found out as a reward for the ghostly stag bit let's go and see how our food is doing second 39 minutes right it's really howling outside there um we've got some newspaper here which we could use for lighting a fire Ooh. Local legends, Sasquatch. This is the other local legends. Right, read. No one knows how long rumors of Sasquatch activity persisted among valley residents, but it's common knowledge that the longer people have lived in this region, the more strange tales emerge about figures in the woods. Ideal. Right, we'll take that one. Definitely take that one. I've got some painkillers there. I've got a sewing kit. I got some wool socks down here, which I'm going to take. I got a bandage. That's it. Right, so we've got the other bit. We, we, we've got the last little bit. Where's that? That's uh, that's aftermath there. Tall tales. Okay, we need to head down this side. We've got the, the bunk. The prepper cache was up there. We need to head down here, and then we've got a Sasquatch cave down there. There's nothing all the way up here. That's that's, that's all done and dusted up there. I, I got nothing left to see up there. Uh, you're 26 minutes. You're 39. What are these two over this way? 29. Right, I'm going to go with you and pass time until you are ready. So I'm going to take that one there. Uh, I'm going to eat that one. That's going to get me some nice stuff there. And then cooking pot, water, I'm going to go with two liters. Cook right there. 50 minutes until that is done. That one's 13 minutes. I'm going to go there with water. 2.4 liters of water. So I'll do that like that. Now I am quite tired. That one is cooked. 
So I will take that one. And these have got... That one at the back has got one minute until ready. So as soon as that... There we go. That one is now done. So I will take that one. Uh, cooking slot right here. Cook. Moldy bear meat. Select. That one can go onto there. And you I will take. <coughs> cook. That last one there. That's 50 minutes. And take this one. Take this one. You got a minute. I wonder if I can drop there. any of this gear. This is all the food I'm going to need to keep me going. Right, I've got four minutes down there. Oh, right. Let's wait till that one is... I uh, pass time until that's ready there. I'm going to take that one with me. Because what I want to do now is I've got t um, two pieces of bear meat cooking. So I'm going to take a bear quarter and I'm going to harvest this for another 4.8. Uh, there, like that. That's 38 minutes there. So that'll be most of the next bit ready and cooked. <coughs> right. Back out of there. And that's got 11 minutes until that one's done. Cook. Moldy bear meat. So I got quite a lot of moldy bear meat here. Just keep putting them all on the on onto the, the thingy here. So I've got that one there. And I got water over on this one. We've got water waiting to cook there. Uh, 50 minutes until boiled. Cook there. That's the last one of those. That one can go there. That's 50 minutes. That's 40 minutes. I got two in here that I want to cook. Get those going. That one's 18. That one's five. Right, I'll wait until that. We'll, we'll, we'll get a couple of these done. Actually, I could go with that one. Pass time until that one's ready because they're not going to burn just yet. I can just take them off the, the cooking slot. So it's 50 minutes there. What was this over this side? You're 40 minutes and you're 26 minutes. So I can cut open the next quarter of bear in here. Take that one and harvest. And we go for another 4.8 kilos of meat in here. Harvest that bad boy. And that will hopefully have... Well, that most of the food will now be ready. Uh, back. Right, I've still got one more down there to do. Cook in here and go for that one. Cook in here and go for that one. And then you've got six minutes until ready there. This one down here is actually going to be ready. Plus the water is ready as well. So take you. Cook some bear meat. And you are... I'm going to drink that. We drink a little bit of that. That's going to restore that back up. And then I can go to the cooking pot. Cook and... Cook a piece. Bear meat cooked. Time to cook 58. Cooked bear meat. Heavy duty food. Oh, moldy bear meat. There. Right, cook. That's turning it into the, the cooked food. That's what we want. Now, how are we doing with our actual fire? That's got seven... It's got eight hours left on it. 46 minutes until burnt. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I've got complete total faith in you. Right, that's an hour. That's an hour. That's 50 minutes. Let's go with another bear quarter right here. Another five kilos of meat. Harvest. Just like that. I am getting really, really tired. I'm going to start falling asleep standing up at this rate. Still got another bear quarter down there. Uh, cook here. Like that. And cook that one there Oops. and that one there like that you at the back you've got 16 minutes apiece i'm getting slower and slower and slower dragging my carcass <laughs> across the floor over here 20 minutes until that one 10 minutes until that one so we'll pass time until that one's ready and i will take it and i will eat it there we'll chow down on that one and that's going to just heal us up a little bit and then cook in here. I've got another moldy bear meat right there. That one's 47. I'll go for the, the smaller one there. That one there is 7 minutes. So I will also go with that one past time until it's ready. Some of the other stuff will now be um, ready back the other side. So 40 minutes right there. Slowly, slowly make my way back over to this one. Like this. What have I got? I got uh, bear meat back there that is cooked. And then cooking slots here, I have none left. 47, 46, and 47. So I'll go for another bear quarter. Like that. Put you all the way up like that so that I've got everything that I need 
Take that one back. That is the last one right there. So you've got seven minutes until you're ready now. <laughs> okay, we are really, really slowed down now with the weight of this meat. However, I'm carrying most of the meat on me. There is a couple of bits that are going to be left over this side that I should be able to pick up. That's got 25 minutes left on that one. That one is an hour, so I can, t I can pick that one up. And then I can go here and I can cook that one. And then I can pass time until that one's ready. Go here and take that one with me. And go cook in here and put that one down there. Then slowly and painfully make my way back across over this way again. Let's go for another drink along the way. Because that will just lighten the load a tiny, tiny little bit. Another quarter of a kilo down. Just help us out a tiny, tiny bit. I'll bring that back in here. I've got some more. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 19 minutes until burned. Right, you're done. So I can go there. That one's an hour. I can go there. That one's an hour. And I can go there. Uh, select. That one's 60 minutes. So I will pass time until this one's ready. I'm now really tired. Take that one. Those two over there aren't ready yet. One of them, I think, is ready. i got nothing else that I want to do here. That one's got four hours left on it. Pass time until you're ready. Pick that one up. Pick that one up. Right. They're done. All i got to do is get over to the fire over there and get the last little bits of the bear meat. And then I've got all the food that I could possibly want just to stay here and while away the time until the bear skin is actually ready to carry. And that was the whole idea of this, is so that we've got the bear skin. We have got the Sasquatch cave. There's one final thing that we want to go and do. So I get that one, and I pick that one up. Right. And I can hardly, I can hardly move at all. Uh, bear meat, 141. This is gamey bear meat. That's pretty good. 1,000 calories. So I'll pick that one there. Yeah, that's all of that piece there, and, and I'll go back to here, and I've got these items here. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to set some of these on to our radial. Set a number of these on the radial, and that should help. We've got 64 calories, uh, 64 calories, 64 kilos that we're carrying at the moment. There's six, seven, eight, I think that is. Right, I've, I've added everything that I can. I need to go this way ever so slowly. I'm going to go here and drink a little bit more. And then I'm going to sleep. Sleep for as long as I can. And then we can burn off a few more calories. So I want to go here and I'm going to go for 10 hours of sleep so that we get fully rested. You know what? I'm going to go for a full 12 hours sleep. That might end up hurting us as far as... The um, water is concerned. Dehydration, 12 hours of sleep, could end up having a bit of it. No, it's actually all right. Right, we're completely healed up now. Uh, if we look in here, we're now 64 out of 40 kilos instead of just 27 kilos. Which I'm taking as a good thing. I'm taking as a very, very good thing. I'm going to go into food like that. And they're all 97. But they're, these two here are smaller quantities of calories, so I will eat those first. I go with that one there, and I will go with you. A bit of water. Drink that down. And I'm already a little lighter on my feet. So there I've got one there that I will eat, but I'm not going to eat yet. We will go camp craft here, and we will pass time. I'm going to pass time. I'm just going to sit here for 12 hours. Burn 1,200 calories. And just sit here doing nothing. I will keep an eye on the water. We might have to cancel just sitting here doing nothing. If the water gets too low. What are we at? We're at 8 hours, 7 hours, and the water has already gone down. You know, I suppose it doesn't actually matter. Right? The water dropping all the way down doesn't matter. We lose a little bit of condition with that. But overall, the grand scheme of things, I'll just, yeah, I'll lose a bit of condition. But once I go to sleep, I'll be fine. There, it's ticking away down. It ticks away down pretty quickly, but it doesn't, you know, it's, it, it's not the end of the world. So I will go here. No, I'm going. I'll eat first. 
I'll go with the 800 calorie option. Like that. And then I will go here. And I will drink. <coughs> All the way up to maximum. And then I will go here and I will get another 12 hours of sleep. Hopefully it will actually allow me to sleep for the full 12 hours. And I'll eat in the morning. We'll see what weight we're carrying around still. It should be a fair bit lower. So I want to go back over to food. And I'll eat any one of them. It doesn't really matter which one I go for. And then I will go for water again. That's going to lighten the load yet more. There we go. Like that. I'm now carrying 60, k uh, 60 kilos out of a potential 40 in total. Each of these pieces of meat is a kilo. It's a fair old bit of weight, really. I can't run. You can't jump anyway. Forgot about that. Right. 48% cured. And these gut are all cured now. So we're going to pick these up and take them all. Like that. They are 0.1 kilos. So I've only got about a kilo worth on those. I'm now 60.6. So I don't think I even had a kilo um, with those right there. And next, I need to wait around a little bit longer. So we want to do the whole past time thing again for another 12 hours. Yeah, we could probably do with a drink. We could also do with some more food. So I'll eat another one of these. Like that. And then we will have a drink. And 1.4 litres at the moment. I'm going to have to do a bit more water. I'll do that once we wake up. So there's another 0.6 litres. I'll probably be all right for a bit. Right, let's go for another 12 hours of sleep. Sleep is definitely the best one. Seems to pass time... Seems to be the way to pass time the far. I'm wondering if we could just keep sleeping. Whether it would even let us do that. Just continuously sleep. Because you, you use water up at a slightly lower rate if you just continuously sleep. Uh, food doesn't seem to use up at a faster rate. Although I don't know about that. Don't quote me on this. 0.73 litres there. Take that, and, and I'll go back to the bedroll, and I will go for... This time I'm going to do 11 hours sleep, so that I can start... I want to sort of edge back so that we're waking up in the early morning, rather than... Uh, and, well, this, this time I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping through the day, and then I'm getting to the night time. And, yeah, I'll do 11 hours of sleep again. Uh, right, i got no water now. There's so much of my plan of 11 hours of sleep. I'll go over to the cooking pot, and we will go with water in here. We're going to go with two litres. Cook, and I will pass time until it's ready. <coughs> and then I will pass time until it's ready again. And then I will go here, and I will drink the water down. So there's two litres of that. And then I will go back to the cooking pot, and I'll do water again. Cook two litres, and we pass time until it's ready. And I'll do that again. Right. And then take that and drink that down as well. So I've got another two litres of water. That'll keep us going just a little bit longer. Uh, food is halfway down. I'm actually going to go for about six hours sleep now. Because of the time on here. So we go with six hours sleep there. And then we'll have some food and some more water. And then we will keep going with the sleeping for another couple of days. So that the whole bear thing is, is taken care of a bit better. This meat here, mouldy, like it's, it's starting to get a lot more poor quality. Like the, the quality of this meat is definitely deteriorating. That bit right there. And then drink some more. Like that. And let's go back to sleep. This time I'm going to go with 11 hours of sleep. Like that. And that will put me through until early evening. I'll then have another bite to eat. And we'll have a bit more drink. And then we will sleep again through the night. And then we will check the bear skin. We will see how we're doing after that. So I want another one of those. That is eaten all the way up. And I will go here with a bit of drink. Like that. And I will go back in here. And we will do 11 hours. There, like that. Sleep for 11 hours. That should take us through until the early morning. I'm hoping. If everything goes well. Sleep right round through until early morning. 
That's more like it. Very early morning now. Okay, so I want to go to you, and I'm going to back out there a minute. I do want to have a look in here. Most of these are on 70% in here. So the, the meat is not all that good, is it? I will add some of these onto the radial here. The, the, the lower, these are the lower quality ones now. So we'll add a few of those in. I'm still carrying 57 kilos. Let's have one of you. I'm not going to be able to eat the whole thing. Got a little bit left. Uh, yeah, I've got 200 <laughs> calories left on that. I will be able to drink a whole load. Now, it's, it's quite early in the morning. And I am still carrying an awful lot of weight. All I want to do is just to... Right, 71% cured. So, really, I want to keep doing this for at least another three days, I would think. So, that won't take too long to do now. I'll just do... Uh, I'll actually, I'll go 12 hours sleep. I've had a few days of rest and sleep. And I've now run out of water. So, I've got a little tiny bit there that I can have. Just to keep us going for a bit. But that's all I've got. So I need to come back over this way and go with our cooking pot and get some more water on the go. Cook that one. And pass time until that's ready. And then pass time until it's ready again. Which means that we are very, very thirsty now. Take that and drink it. And then I'll do the same again. I'll do another two liters of water. That'll keep us going for another day or two. Uh, cook that bit right there. Oh, oops, no, I want to do it like that. Pass time until it's ready, and then pass time until it's boiled again, like that. So, um, obviously it goes snow to water to boiled. Drink that one again, like that. And I've done. Right, so I've now got four of those lots. I've got a couple of these moldy bear meats, and most of these are now at, like, 50 70%, right? They're, they're getting lower and lower and lower. The overall percentage of this bear meat, it is quite poor. There's there's not a lot that we can do about that. We could have gone and put the bear meat out in snow, I suppose. That would have helped a little bit. But we just keep putting these onto the radial. There, that, that'll that help out a bit. And I'll go back to sleep. Right now, I'm thinking seven hours of sleep. Just to keep us going until evening. And then I will sleep through the night once more. And once I've done that, we will check on our bear skin again. Where are we now? I'm halfway between... It's, it's dusk is just coming up now. So we will go here. I'll take that 800 calorie one there. Which I don't actually eat. Uh, I, eat the, I don't actually eat all of it. I use up some of it, but I don't actually eat all of it. Right. Then I will go to sleep and I will have a full 12 hours of sleep this time. Like that, that'll take us right through until the morning. Then we'll have another bite to eat and a bit more liquid. And then we'll check our bear skin and see how that one's coming on. Uh, the bear meat that we've got, we're very soon not going to be able to do anything with it at all. So I just eat that last 200 calories on there, a little tiny bit. And I've now got... Most of the bear meat is on 50%. It's getting pretty poor at the moment. You, drink you down. And how is this bear skin? First of all, we're now down to 53 kilos. So all of the work of bringing the bear back, all of that bear meat, 96% cured. One more day. We'll do one. We'll do 24 more hours is what we will do. So I will go in here and I will sleep for 12 hours. I will eat and drink and I'll sleep for another 12 hours to get through the night. And then I've got the bear skin. Which I'll then need to be able to take with me. The actual, the, the rest of the bear meat that we've got, I don't really know what to do with that. Because um, now look at it, it, it's all, if we were playing on a harder difficulty, being below 50% would give us a chance of uh, becoming quite ill eating it. We're not playing on a harder difficulty, so we don't actually need to worry about such a thing. But uh, yeah, th th there is always that. If we were on a harder difficulty, we've now reached the point where that bear meat becomes a serious risk. I think there's a risk of parasites or food poisoning or something if you eat it. But yeah, I'm, I'm a wuss and I don't play. I don't play on the harder difficulties. I'm quite happy to admit that I'm a wuss. Um, right, 40. Yeah, so we go with one of these here on 43%. That's all eaten up. And if I go and have a look in here, I've got 78 calories left on that one. 
<laughs> Drink. There. All right. I got one and a half liters of water, <coughs> of which I've just drunk 0.63. So I'm now able to move around a lot faster, and I've got a cured black bear hide. It only weighs a kilo. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. All right. I'm going to take that with me. But we've now got bear meat that is way, way sort of, uh, well, I was going to say, it, it, one, it's weighing us down, ridiculously so. Uh, but it's also no good. It's, it's, it's getting quite poor. So I'm going to donate this. I'm going to donate all the rest of the bear meat. The whole lot is all going in there. There we go. I've, I've made a generous and kind donation of all of the bear meat. I've now got five kilos of carry weight free. I can run around. It is early in the morning. Let's go and have a look in our bag and see. So I got 0.8 on here. I just want to. I want to make sure that we've got. We're well fed. Manage to prevent starvation for 72 consecutive hours. You're full of energy and can carry more gear. So we've got a rabbit skin hat right here. Which is on 53%. Now, actions, I do actually have the cured rabbit pelt and the gut. And I can give it a <coughs> full repair. So we will do that now. I'll give that one a full repair. All the way back up to maximum. So that our rabbit skin hat is looking absolutely wonderful. There we go. Isn't that wonderful on there? And you? That is 86%. I'll probably run with that. 76 we could do with you being repaired. So, repair 24% on that one. A little bit later in the day. I suppose I could have done some of this repairing while I was waiting for other things to happen. You, 96. You're fine. 98. That's fine. 92. That's fine. 83. This one I'm going to repair if I can. Uh, 93 and 98. 86 and 88. 90. 81% there. Uh, decent climbing socks. New wool socks. They are down on everything. So, these I'm going to repair. Repair those decent climbing socks. 19% repair on those. Now, I got long johns that I'm also wearing. These here. 86 and 88%. Probably that will repair for 0.3 degree. I'm not going to worry about repairing those. These here are 63%. Actions, I can't repair because I don't have any cured leather. But what I do have is these. So, actions... Harvest two pieces of cured leather. That's going to allow me to um, repair these now. Actions here. <coughs> repair 33%. It's going to take an hour to do the repair. Hopefully, we will actually be able to do it. 95% chance of success. I have noticed, I don't think it's actually 95% chance because I have noticed previously that boots, I always seem to have the biggest failure rate with boots. More than anything else. So, this one right here is one other item that I would like to repair. Our last piece of leather. Because I want to make absolutely certain that I am. this one stays at maximum. So, I'd really, really like that one to work. Yes, excellent. There, that's at 100%. So, that's all looking good. We've got everything repaired up. I've got 35 kilos in my pack. I got nine bits of cured gut. I've got the bear skin. I've got loads of food and weapons and everything. That Unfortunately, we're going to have to put the adventure on hold there for just a moment. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.